Hey guys, it's me, Skylar Capri, and today I'm coming at you with a what is in my swim bag. So this will be the first video on my channel. As you saw, or if you didn't watch it yet, I do have my first video is a trailer of kind of what you will be seeing on my channel. So please remember to give that video and this video a like and subscribe if you would like to further watch more of my videos. I will probably do maybe one or two videos a week all concerning swimming, maybe drills, technique, recipes, routines, um, DIYs, I have a lot of DIYs, um, and just other stuff relating around swimming, like swimming life hacks, like how I put on like cap and any tutorials you may have or wondering questions about. So without further ado, let's dive in. So this is my swim bag and this is the Speedo Teamster 35 liter, I'm guessing it says an ounce, I'm guessing liter, but I'm not sure. And it is red. The lighting went a little weird there. Um, actually, please comment about the lighting. I'm using natural light right now. I have literally no lights on right now, and I am in my room. So if you think there needs to be more lighting or try a different location, please, please, please let me know. So we are going to start on this side, these two pockets. So in the top pocket, I have a whole bunch of hair ties. Well, I actually have four hair ties. Um... What can I say? You always need hair ties as a swimmer. Um, just a little bit of a um, kind of life hack kind of tip for you. When you're putting on a cap, you cannot use bobby pins because bobby pins, I promise you, they will like, I guarantee you this, they will poke right through the cap and you're going to have a hole in your cap. I've seen it happen to people and it is just... It's just don't do it so only use hair ties maybe you could put a headband in I don't know I wouldn't wear a headband because your hair still gets wet but um, yeah no bobby pins no bobby pins for a cap and then also I have this um, chapstick and this is just in blue craze berry this actually smells really really good um, as a swimmer our lips do get really chapped during the winter season I know it's not winter time but I do like to keep it in there so after practice I can just apply it so now to the mesh pocket. I have a chocolate almond sea salt and chia bar. This is like the best granola bar ever. I love this thing. I normally have one after every practice and I practice six days a week. So I must really like it to eat it almost literally every day. But love this. It's so good. And like with the chia seeds, it's really good for you. So yeah. And then I have another hair tie because I evidently cord hair ties in my swim bag. Okay, well, you know, that's funny because I always lose my hair ties and I'm like, oh man, I just got a new pack. Well, now I know where they, they're all in my swim bag evidently. So, there is what's in that pocket. Now we're going to do, I know nothing's in this pocket because normally in this pocket I will put a wetsuit, wet cap, and, um, my goggles in here to dry, but we're going to do this pocket that says Speedo and then this pocket. So for the pocket that says Speedo, this is my practice bag and I will title this video what is in my um, swim bag for practice or what is in my practice swim bag or something something along those lines. But um, if you'd like to see a video that's what's in my swim bag for meats, please comment down below. I do have a Sharpie and highlighters. This is for meets and sometimes for practice. If we're doing, I don't know, if he needs us. Or like, okay, so that was a lot of rambling. But it, sometimes he'll give us a sheet and he'll be, and he'll say, okay, I want you to do these workouts at home or go to the gym and do these workouts because it's going to further help you in swimming. So normally he'll be like, okay, I need to do numbers one, three, and five. So I'll highlight them. So I'll highlight them. Ooh. Jeez. And then I have these just right on my arm or hand during swim meets. And I just keep this stuff in here for swim meets. And also, just if you go on websites, sometimes they'll have good workouts for swimmers. If you just, like, look at good workouts for swimmers, it does really help you. I'm just going to situate on the floor. It does really help with, like, um, your resistance in the water. And, like, if you do um, maybe bicep curls or they have a machine that you can like pull across yourself it has like a little bar if you can do like if you can pull across with one arm more than the water resistance is it's going to be really good and it's going to be really beneficial so keep those in there now for this pocket this pocket actually zips all the way down here 
zips like all the way all the way down. And in here, let's see what I have in here. Okay. So first of all, I have this Tyr or TYR anti-fog lens cleanser. I really love this for my goggles because my goggles can sometimes get foggy when I switch from an outdoor pool to an indoor pool or just for meat and practice reasons, but got that. And then I also have the nose clip. I do not like wearing my nose clip, I will tell you that. I use it for snorkels, it's just a gray Speedo one. Um, it's it's not that it's uncomfortable or, or it doesn't work well. It just, as a swimmer, it's just kind of weird. Like, I don't know. It's not, okay, it's not weird to like wear it while you're um, using a snorkel because there have been countless times where I think I'm not using a snorkel. So then I just forget that I have to breathe through my mouth. This has helped with that. This is good for backstroke. But um, I just don't really like wearing them. Just kind of weird to me. But yeah, I have a nose clip. Then I also have a whole bunch of caps. I have a lot of caps. Another one. I have a whole bunch of caps. So, okay. I have this Speedo White Cup. This cap. Then I have this Aquatic Outfitters Black. Oh, sorry. This was still Here, I'll do all my silicone caps first. I have this white one. I have a black one, but I cannot find it. Oh, my goodness. Is it in here? Maybe it is in the mesh pocket, I'm just not looking. No, it's not in there. Where on earth is my black cat? I don't know. Well, I have a black one. It looks exactly like this. It's just black. And then those would be... Oh, and then I also... Are they over here? What on earth? I have... Okay, and also I had a UNC cap, but silicone cap, but I cannot find it. But if I will find it, I will um, insert a little picture at the end of the video. I will insert two pictures. But, yeah, I cannot find those right now. But I, I could have sworn they were in my bag. Yeah, but, okay. Next thing I have is just this Kate Spade um, little glasses wipe. And that I use with this. So those clean my goggles. And then my other caps for latex. <laughs> I am a bigger fan of silicone caps than latex, but when it comes to meats, like for my school meat, we have to wear a latex cap. For my summer swim team, we have to wear a latex cap, but I have adapted. I started out with latex, went to silicone, now I'm back at latex because of all my swim teams. But I have this yellow one from Aquatic Outfitters. I have this black one from Aquatic Outfitters. I have this... They stick. I think there's glue inside. Oh my goodness. Literally, I don't want to like rip it. Okay, well, I have a royal blue cap. It just looks like that. It actually has my neighborhood um, swim team because in my neighborhood I do have a swim team. The name is actually like written like on both sides, so I would show you it, but I can't. And then on this cap, I have a white. Here, I'll show, just like show you. That's it. I have a white silicone cap. It has my school um, logo on it. Yeah, but it's a latex cap. And then I just have two club caps, which is the club that I um, swim at. So I can't show you those. But um, one of them's just white and it says our name. And then another one's just blue and it says the, the name of my um, swimming place. So those are my caps. I have a whole bunch because I practice with them literally every day. And if you'd like a review on um, latex versus silicone, please comment da that down below. Okay, now let's go into the big compartment. Okay, in here I have a towel, of course. You need a towel if you're a swimmer. I just have a um, little mesh bag, and this actually has my snorkel in it, and it has a tennis ball, because we do a lot of drills with the tennis ball. Like, I might do a video of some brush strokes. Oh my gosh, I just completely wrapped it around my hand. Okay, I might do a video of some drills with the tennis ball for brush stroke because it's really good for working brush stroke and excuse me, I like hiccuped. Okay, and then I just have a Speedo suit. I have a Speedo drag suit that's really kind of old. And then I have my favorite suit for practice and it's this green one, which is also by Speedo. And what else do I have in here? I have lotion for after practice and this is just a Bath and Body Works one. 
so it's good. So, okay, I have this suit saver, and this is just a um, kind of cleaner for your swimsuit. You like a review and a tutorial on that? Comment that down below. I just have deodorant because sometimes, like after swim practice, I go um, I go to the store or I go shopping or just whatever. Because on Saturday mornings I do have swim practice, and then later in that day I do some. Um, sometimes I might go to a football game, but yeah, got on my deodorant. Okay, next, then I have our dirt bag. This comes in the swim bag. And in here, I just have a washcloth because there are showers at my um, place. I have a body mist. Then I have a whole bunch of travel size shampoo, conditioner. What else do I got in here? Bars of soap. Body wash. Just a whole bunch of travel size items that I've gotten from hotels and all. That's good stuff. Yeah, but because normally to like. Like, they have kind of, like, showers where just, like, a, um, it's just, like, a shower head on, like, a wall, and you just, like, rinse off your suit, and sometimes, like, I'll wash my hair, I'll just, like, flip my hair upside down and wash that way, because it's not going to get soap on your suit, but that is what is in this bag, and we're almost done, guys, promise. Okay, then in here, I have a wet brush. I live by this thing. Like, I will, I refuse to use an actual hairbrush because wet or dry hair, love this thing. So, you have my thoughts on this. I would totally recommend this completely. Love this, love this, love this. Okay, and in here I just have a pair of shorts. I have another t-shirt. And then I just have a pair of socks, a pair of running shoes for if we do dry land and that good stuff so that was what is in my swim bag i have it literally most of my stuff scattered all over the floor now i'm gonna do a quick a quick um clean up crew to that we're almost done it's record time for me for um actually putting my stuff back in my swim bag Oh yeah, that's in my goggle. Oh, oh, okay. I forgot to show you my goggles. That would have been bad. Be like, Skylar, how can you swim without goggles? Totally got you there. Okay. okay. Everything's cleaned up except for my goggles. So my goggles are the. Oh. Oh good, it says it. These are the Women's Vanquisher Mirror. They're by Speedo. They look like this. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have these. It just has pink little band here and their mirror look like this and they make like here I'll hold it up to the camera they like make everything like a tint darker they have a dark lens if you like to do if you like me to do a review on these please comment that down below as well um, I do very much like these though so, back in there. so that is what was in my practice swim bag I hope this video isn't too long and right now I will actually insert those other swim cap clips. I hope I can find them, but if I can't, just take my word on it, I do have the cap. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye!